Hi, I'm Joshi of Neenapolis in downtown Las Vegas. It's an entertainment complex of three levels on a two acre property, one city block between Fremont, Ogden, Las Vegas Boulevard and 4th Street. And it was developed during year 2000 to 2002. It opened in 2002 and in 2006 I purchased it in which it is a great story of how a downtown urban redevelopment projects can succeed. It was supposed to be fully retail, special urban retail development, but times changed and during 2002, 2006 and thereafter, the shopping mall business completely changed, the retail changed. The uh, online uh, sales became very, very prominent in the shopping center industry and therefore all the physical retail brick and mortar stores were phasing out as such. Entertainment was the number one priority for most of these urban developments. So what we, what we did in the 2011 through 2018 is concentrate on food, beverage, entertainment and attractions. As such, we signed a deal with a theater operator who was an agency that has got tons of good uh, groups as well as theatrical productions and they are in tune with the strip entertainment so they are bringing those customers where they are not discovered yet the great talents to bring them to Neonapolis for a good value of entertainment second is we created the second floor to be the nightclub district which was primarily Cats Meow, which is one of the finest clubs from New Orleans. They opened and are doing very well. We got Nerd, a millennial nightclub by Jonathan Borchetta, who's been the biggest promoter of our building. And we got a phenomenal museum, arts museum, that has done very well for us for over 16 years or so. So it's been a great ride on the second floor with the uh, entertainment and theater district. We have first floor, which is food, beverage, and all kinds of attractions. A attraction called X Hole, which has done very well for us. Arcade, we've got a uh, very unusual neon chapel, which is where you can get a phony, a, uh, laugh at kind of uh, weddings. Uh, and that's taken hold of a lot of visitors that come to Las Vegas. We have a racetrack for go-karts created by a very famous uh, racer Gene Woods. We have Don't Tell Mama with over 25 years experience in a music related bar in which the uh, waiters and waitresses sing and you can sing along with them. Uh, in addition to that we've got a great two tenants from Pawn Stars uh, which are their uh, cottage industries and they are like rock stars they are on television uh, they are appraisers of the pawn stars and it's toy shack and sporting goods stores so those two do very well for us they bring about 600 to 1000 people a day in bus tours from pawn stars and rick dale's uh, the project called uh, restoration of hardware so that is done very well for us before the pandemic but after pandemic, everything is changing, of course. And in addition to that, we have Denny's, a food court, which is owned by Woods family, uh, Wu family. Uh, we have a couscous, which is owned by Bernie Cheater from Canada, a Bangers Brewing, which is owned by four young men. They all look like Tom Cruise, of course, and they do very well. And Dr. John Beso owns a heart attack grill. And with all those tenants, we have a very good 90% lease project in which as soon as this project has a welcoming sign on the Fremont Street and the casinos open up at full blast, we'll get back to our 24 million visitors and we'll be back on top as we promised during any time people still want to come to Las Vegas. If it's a recession, depression, they want to forget about all that, come to Las Vegas. If it's the greatest time, they want to come to Las Vegas. And where we are is the best location in the Las Vegas Valley. 
It's on Las Vegas Boulevard at Fremont Street, a 300,000 square feet, three level entertainment complex. I welcome you to Indianapolis at any time, day or night. Welcome.